Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a sewer tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 3329 Southeast Steel Street here in Portland. We're located in the basement of the home. We're in the room with the uh, water heater. It's a three inch ABS clean out right below that. This will be our point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running up ahead. Here we go. I'm actually going to zero out right here. This this whole first like six seven feet or so is just purely clean out until it hits the stack that dives into the ground. So uh, this is right after the pipe dives down underneath the floor and starts heading out of the home or heading out. Transitions here at 19 feet over to it looks like 4 inch cast iron pipe. Looks like it's transitioning to ABS plastic here about 27 feet out. And then transitions here to, it looks, appears to be six inch concrete pipe.
Right up here, up ahead of the camera, a couple feet, looks, it appears to either be the main lateral connection or a Y connection. I'm going to go ahead and locate here, see where we're at. Yeah, located the cam well, I believe I've located the camera head successfully. There's a lot of power lines crisscrossing all over the place in the back and the front yard. Um, so I'm going to have to double check, make sure I see the signal moving. But where I picked up the camera head right now is at the rear of the property, uh, just about smack dab under the rear fence line. Should be all drained out at this point. Yeah, I did locate the camera head successfully here again. I am seeing the signal move around, so it does appear that we are uh, headed to the, the rear of the property there. So, again, it's important to uh, verify whether that's some kind of party line connection there or an easement that's conforming. This part of town, the city's pretty aggressive about dealing with party line situations, so very important to figure that out. We're going to have to look into whether the line has had an update done to it at some point. Um, ABS and Orangeburg pipe, ABS is plastic, it's black plastic, and Orangeburg is an old tar paper product that was banned. Um, I, given the depth of the line here, I would, I, <clears throat> doubting that it is Orangeburg, it, usually at a depth like this, they're getting crushed to pieces. Um, anyway, mm -hmm. there, there are some kind of bumps in the flow line. Mm -hmm. That could just be simply debris that's stuck mm -hmm. there. Uh, but it's worth just double checking to make sure this has been updated to ABS. They, they are very difficult to tell apart sometimes. They're both black uh, and kind of a white films like that on the top of the pipe there. So it, it, it's really looking like ABS plastic again, unless the uh, Orangeburg line is only about a foot deep. They just get smashed flat by the ground. So anyway, it, a lot of times those kind of records are online. But that's all looking good there, flowing properly, no issues. There's a little bit of standing water at the end of the line, but it's only like a sixteenth of an inch. It's nothing concerning. Assuming that uh, connection there, about 60, oh, we'll call it about 62 feet. I stopped it about a foot and a half, two feet short. This is getting so difficult to push. This is a very awkward clean out. Uh, 62 feet to the terminus there. Uh, mm -hmm. All the pipe from the clean out all the way out to that point is in good condition. Much of it is original, but it's all in good shape and flowing properly. The sewer line is functioning properly at this time. Uh, most important thing is just to double check on, to make sure that, the, that its current configuration is conforming and not something like a party line that the city is going to want to have um, disconnected and rerouted. Apart from that, line functions just fine.